Hi, I'm Jarve. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general collection reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Alvina signs from the 1st to 15th of August 2020. So let's see. Let's see what's going on for you guys. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate with you, check your other aspects of your chart. It may well be that other elements, other signs are more accurate for you for the first part of August. So this is currently being filmed on a full moon, which is the Aquarius Sturgeon full moon. Uh, let's see what's going to be happening for the first two weeks of August for you guys. Let's see what you've got to look forward to, what is coming up, what are the overall themes. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Capricorn's themes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you could be attracting a polar opposite of you. So if you're um, a student, maybe you're attracting a teacher. If you're a teacher, you're attracting students. We've got teacher and mentor here. Okay, either you are looking for learning, looking for lessons, or you will be learning. It's got uh, ability to communicate knowledge of experience, skill or wisdom, passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. So the focus is on learning and an experience here that is going to shape your reality, I'm hearing. Can you see here as well, she's holding a world here. So this could be maybe travel to do with a, another language. Maybe you're learning something um maybe you're you know you're teaching someone that could also be life lessons important life lessons coming to the fore maybe something that has been reoccurring for you that you maybe didn't quite piece together this is starting to come very obvious maybe that you're having to realign into this point in time and therefore change something or that you've learned a final lesson here that is going to propel you into more learning or more experiences more kind of prospects we've also got child which is magical seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things the belief that anything is possible so this is a purge you've learned something here there's a there's an end of a cycle here that you're finally you have closed out or you are closing out where your perspective has shifted here okay we've also got bottom of the deck child nature and it says friendships animals communication with nature spirits again you've got a very polarized energy between a younger energy sitting in your kind of uh, your center of joy your sacral chakra and then you've got this higher wisdom this uh, indigo kind of crown chakra energy so your crown and your solar plexus and sacral are probably going to be and also third eye are probably going to be um part of the driving force but don't forget the heart because obviously leo leo is that very sort of center centered heart energy um you, there's something about Someone's rabbit here. Someone's got a rabbit. This is also guides, um, ancestor spirits that are coming to support you with a project or to gain wisdom on something. You've got a lot of, um, again, Lionsgate portal. Probably you're having your ancestors that will be joining you to help you. And I was about to go to this tarot deck. Is this something you, you did? You want me to go to that one or the other one that you said? Okay, hang on. There's a message in this as well. They always do this. They always, there's no coincidence what they do around the, the beginning part of these readings. I instinctively went to reach for a tarot deck. But it's interesting because before I started the reading, I saw another tarot deck. And that was the impression that they wanted me to use that one after this deck. And now they're sat smiling at me. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so one is the cosmic tarot, one is the after tarot, all right? You've got a lot of influences that are more astral influences, planetary influences that are allowing access to further heightened wisdom, all right? So they want me to use both these tarot decks, but there's no coincidence of the names. Don't, if you're very grounded and earthly, great, perfect. But don't do it at the detriment this month or this first part of the month of ignoring your spiritual essence and or insights that you could be downloading. Because I feel like there needs to be a bit of a balance. You could be very in your earthly energy at the moment, which is great. But we need to be open to, again, don't forget that kind of teaching, that kind of crown chakra energy. Because there's definite downloads coming in here. Be open to the opportunity for change, I'm hearing. That's also something that they want you to be aware of. Mm. 
you are not in a rush to get to your future are you you are not in a rush to move ahead right here you're biding your time this is the energy you may be in nine of swords fear worry concern anguish anxiety overthinking but if i do this i'm going to make a mistake but if i do that maybe i'm going to miss out if i do this what happens if this happens how should i I understand you, but I feel like this could also be part of your lesson that we were talking about right at the beginning. Um, you put the burden down. Put the burden down. This, this. Why do I feel like this is not your fight? I feel like you may have absorbed this energy from somewhere else, and you're taking it on as your own. This is not your fight. Your parents could have been very focused on money, the practical security you had, possibly and the energy that's presenting at the moment in the wider world the bigger picture is one of lack one of fear one of this and you may have invested into that energy to the detriment of you seeing what is coming next now if you haven't already watched my live that was done today which is called um and i can't remember what it's called um what was it called that was insane hang on I'll give you the actual title. Bearing in mind, I've just actually put my moon water out to fill up overnight. And I've just come in to film this Capricorn video. So it was about three minutes ago that I actually updated the title of this. It's called Expect the Unexpected. Now, don't forget, if you're in a manifestation energy, if you're in fear vibration, then you may well be manifesting something that is possibly going to compound this concern that you already have. Okay. However, if you can shift that energy, all right, move away from it, it may well be that you're you're going to have something come to you here that maybe you were not expecting. Choices, decisions. I'm hearing comfort, going out of your comfort zone. I don't know if you want to do that right now. Yeah, bottom of the deck, ten of wands. It, it, this may feel a little bit like obscure something that you're not very used to maybe you're a bit unsure of yourself at the moment maybe you're a bit unsure about how to kind of move forward in the task at hand and you see the wand has actually started growing things um now obviously the, he's held on to the one wand and then has let the nine wands fall so this is wounded warrior energy ready to take on the next fight or the next propulsion of energy which is the ace of wands that spark of energy that spark of creativity but we're battling between what that is and you're not moving. You're worried about the movement that you're going to be making. You must come to a decision. Even, even if it's to keep moving, don't stay stagnant because even if it's just, I mean, look, I think it's better to make a decision at the moment than none. That's how I want to say it. Um, also, the fact that you're holding on to this one ace that's brilliant because you're trying to get yourself back up i feel but don't do it at the expense of all other things sometimes if it's too much to push through uh, you know it could be that you're not meant to get to that point maybe there's another option for you that you haven't seen as per the live i've mentioned today underneath that judgment decisions make the decision please this is your guide make the decision please but i can't there's just too many options right now and I, all i can see is the red one which is my security i don't know how to deal with you know having an empty cup what happens if it's you know something that is illusionary you know what what happens and can you see that laurel the the, the reef there of laurels this is very relevant okay because this is about asserting your energy and your own power. Now, this is not about pure domination and like Machiavellian energy or total sort of, you know, narcissistic. We're not talking about that. Again, there's a balance to this. This is about raw energy of you. Undoing yourself from your demons that may be real or perceived may be tangible or intangible you may be trying to understand what path would provide a more pure essence to your kind of world and what doesn't um yeah. 
you've got people i feel like at some point you may have felt like you don't have the help can you see around his uh, waist is a belt which is made from a snake and he's holding on to all these things but at the expense of what the lover's card they're holding the apple which we know could be temptation okay so are you trying to fight against your urges here um again it could be a battle of head versus heart because we're seeing the sword a, a lot here again your guides are possibly asking you to detach from something cut away from something you can see the sun behind the guides there which is about enlightenment and truth something has been told to you that i feel that you're not acknowledging you've been given some information here um, and I feel like you could also be battling to understand or deal with it. You don't be perturbed by this. I feel like they're trying to give you a blessing, but I feel like because it may not be the information you want to hear, you may right, let's have a look. Temperance, spiritual balance temperance okay sagittarius energy so again it's replenishment of this it's this interconnection between you and the ethers the you and the spirit team it's that divine essence that is again they're trying to top you up but you've got to help yourself at some point as well if you can't help yourself then they're, they're again they'll top you up but i feel like there's something that you could be really learning here that you may you may not want to see Again, hermit, bottom of the deck, could be Virg Virgo energy. Again, there's that snake with the stars in the background. Again, Aquarius, possible Aquarius energy. I don't know, I'm hearing, do you have what it takes? Let's have a look. Queen of Wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is uh, Alpha. This is someone who knows her mind knows her worth his worth could be masculine as well but they're holding a sunflower and as per a lot of the references in my readings we have a, had a sunflower come through a lot the sunflower positions themselves into the direct energy of the sun okay which being the fact that we are in leo season which rules the sun leo is you know strongest in the sun is strongest in leo you are about to come into your power here but th there's a lesson that needs to be closed out all right you need to kind of get this possibly under wraps before anything comes through that is you know matching your energy you may have been attracting more lower vibrational energies that m weren't maybe reciprocating or were making things harder for you and you don't want to fight that fight anymore i feel you're wanting something that is going to be a little bit more evolved um, there's a possibility of that coming in but i feel like this could also be a job um starting a new possibly even starting a new business i'm just seeing money here knowing your worth money acting accordingly you're putting yourself in the direct path of the sun which is acknowledgement of self i feel like you're gonna detract or the idea is behind what spirit are trying to show you here is to put you in the direct path of the sun for your highest truth your highest alignment um your highest good the highest vibrational timeline that you could be on this is what they're trying to gear you up for okay so if it means you know Walking alone a little bit longer, then so be it. This is Nine of Pentacles. This is abundant energy. This is also solar plexus chakra energy, which is yellow. Willpower, strength. Um, this, you've had to pull yourself out of this. You probably didn't get much help in the physical realm. Spirit probably gave you a little bit of help, but I feel like the majority of it you did yourself this is what is slowly shifting here this is scorpio energy you're about to transition out of that as you can see the sun in the background here is a promise of a new day abundance material comfort material prosperity that doesn't leave you confused or 
unaware of what is really going on so again it's like we've got secrets here we've got secrets so let's i want to focus on these let me put these cards out so i can see what's going on and then we'll focus on this high priestess there's something about this high priestess i want to dig into here cosmic tarot awesome now i understand what you're referring to there spirit thank you okay so this is now a cosmic tarot let's have a look let's move this just going to get a bit more organized on the desk here give me two moments and then we will find out what this high priestess is referring to. So, Spirit, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For August 2020, what is the high priestess referencing, please? What is the high priestess referencing? What is the referencing? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I understand. Okay, mm hmm. Okay. You felt like someone was dishonest or. Um, lied about something possibly um we've got the king of swords in the reverse here with the emperor in the reverse this could be an air sign so gemini libra aquarius uh, this can be a little bit of a cutting individual but with the emperor in the reverse this is someone who maybe has not empowered themselves in a in a way that maybe was good for you maybe they're a little bit overbearing possibly argumentative um maybe you know a bit insecure and we're sort of projecting that um I feel like this individual wants to have a future with you, if I'm really totally honest with you. Um, but I don't know, because we've got Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't know if they're trying to build their money up first before they do this. Because I feel like they see you as a possible long-term prospect. Um, but I don't know if they're in a position to offer that now, because we've got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Now... Why do I feel like, because you're a queen of wands here, you, there could be a third party situation going on with the lovers, queen of wands. So the high priestess could have been that there was another interest around this person, which was not uh, allowing you to kind of come together with this person. Um, this could be part of the lesson that they're asking you to look into because they want you to close it out possibly. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's that Ace of Wands. So you remember here with this Ten of Wands, holding on to this wand, determined to keep hold of this wand. I don't know if you're going to, if this is a love interest, I don't know if this is going to be the promise of a new start here because it doesn't look like it's, it can move forward. It, it's stuck. It looks a bit stuck. Can you see in the upright position, this is the direct energy from the sun, all right? But in the reverse, it looks like there's a, it's like being drained. This could also be that just in Leo season, um, it's not, you're not going to get this kind of resolve possibly. It could also be that because this is fire energy. But we've also got the nine of swords in the reverse. So it's like someone's licking their wounds here with this. And they're, they're hurt. It could be the other person. It could be you. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, let three of swords in the reverse. I don't know how prepared this person is to offer something. Because, again, this, this shows trying to resolve a heartbreaking situation. But, again, it could be that there's more than one party involved here which is causing everyone involved pain. Three of Swords. You know. I'm just hearing wisdom. Bottom of the deck, Princess of Cups. So, can you see she's covering her cup? You may be not sure about whether or not you want to accept an offer or an apology that may well be coming through at some point um this energy may well at some point want to come through and see where you're at between the first and the 15th let's have a look what else is going on for capricorn yeah look hierophant in the reverse again 
I don't know if they're offering higher love here or a lesson. It's like then someone's not learning the lesson. King of Swords, again, they're in the upright position. Someone is referring to cutting a situation out here. Someone's not learning a lesson. Could be them. And again, we've got the Emperor. It could be that you you advise them that you're, you know, you're kind of pretty much done and you're not, you know, they're not learning it. But this is the thing. This is now all appearing in the upright. So the cards we had before, short of the three of wands, which is about having a future, are now appearing in the upright position. So do you remember we had the fall, the ten of pentacles, the ten of swords, uh, sorry, the king of swords and the emperor all was in the reverse position at one point. Now they're coming out in the upright position, but the hierophant is in the reverse. So, yes, there could be an option for this person at some point to come out of a relationship um, and to start something with you, but that's not going to be for everyone. And to be totally honest with you, this, again, you're talking even possibly into September, October time, maybe even longer maybe even up until april next year it, it doesn't and this is the thing there, there's it implies a way i feel like spirit are trying to say to you their recommendation is to move on that's their recommendation though but it's up to you how you want to move forward you may you may think no i'm going to keep going with this Okay, so we've got Six of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So someone's working to move forward. Maybe it's you. Someone's working to move on from this into calmer waters. Maybe you're, you you saying, no, no, I, I want to just stay in this situation and see what happens. But we've got the Prince of Cups in the reverse here and then the Tower. So Spirit are kind of saying, if you do decide to stay in this, I'm not sure how useful this is going to be for long-term success, if we're totally honest with you. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, let's see. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. First, the 15th of August 2020. What is happening, please? What else is happening? Okay, so we've got the chariot moving again in the reverse. So something is a little bit blocked here. I don't think something's moving forward. Um, again, we've got the six of pentacles in the reverse. So there's not an equal give and take. It could be that you're trying to push forward on something and someone else isn't. Um, could be work, could be career, could be money, something to do with money. Maybe someone owes you money and they're not paying back. Um, but we've all, or it could even be the previous love situation, which is that someone's, again, they're not putting the effort in. Um, Ace of Swords, cut, the advice is, is, I feel like there's a clarity here of, you know, do we cut this off? Because this is the thing, we've got the King of Cups with the, the Page of Cups here, which is a lovely offering, but it looks like they're offering it to themselves. It, I don't know if this person's only prepared to offer this to them and not so much to anyone else. It feels like there's maybe a bit of selfish energy here. Um, the bottom of the deck is the seven of swords so either they're not acknowledging your feelings here or they're not acknowledging this connection it could well be that it's because they're already involved with someone else and so they're not able to this is the 11 11 card and so that they're, they're happy to stay in the situation and not really acknowledge anything but let's have a look we'll have a look at outcomes so this could be karmic lesson here guys all right, let's have a look. Let's see what the outcome is. What is the outcome for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? From the 1st to the 15th of August 2020, what is the outcome for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? What is the outcome, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest, you have someone coming in, but because you're holding on to something, this something, it can't come in yet. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, it can't come in because you're 
you're sort of grounding yourself here with the lovers reverse um the five of swords is they're kind of wanting you to free yourself a little bit from this because again you're the hanged man is observant of the situation and sort of tries to perceive what's going on but you're not you're in the reverse as well so it's like there's a bit of self-sabotage here what do you know what i mean this is a lesson possibly now this is what's on offer ten of pentacles which is long-term success and prosperity but you're not freeing yourself they're trying to offer you the sword to cut yourself down from this but i feel like either the self-talk is you know not great or you're observing this and it's driving you a little bit maybe you're just sitting observing them um and to sort of see what happens and maybe you want to see what happens well this is the thing we've got ten of ten of swords so yeah i mean at some point maybe some of you could have success with this because we've got the chariot here and the six of pentacles but i don't know if it's in this period all right i don't know if it's in this period now obviously use discernment use discernment for some of you it may well be that you know there is success for some of you there was a lesson that is you know you need to learn before success can happen so let's have a look at the angel answers and sort of try and dissect this a little bit more okay what is the let's do three piles actually okay what can you tell me about the situation for capricorn sun moon rising venus signs okay what is the outcome for number one so pick a number between one and three and let's see what the outcome is for those who pick number one please you're not ready there's something you're missing this you're ready in the reverse so something is not ready about this bottom of the deck is no all right so it could be just the wrong time could be just a wrong timing situation number two please what can you tell me for number two this is about trust okay so obviously it looks like you're going to get some higher help here with that one bottom of the deck is recovery so it could well be that this is going to just be a timing issue all right could be timing issue for number two and number three let's see outcome for number three please what can you tell me now this is again this a year from now something about the situation in a year from now here could be that you've you know i don't know if you're going to want to wait a year it's up to you but personally i'm not sure i'd want to do that it's part of your choice okay let's go with the hidden world let's see the outcome hidden worlds by lucy cavendish what is the outcome for capricorn please sun moon rising venus signs capricorn sun moon rising venus signs from the first of the 15th of august 2020 what is the outcome what is the outcome what is the outcome the tree of souls collective wisdom kinship growth library so very akashic records energy this is also tree of life so again capricorn being what is usually determined as the roots sort of the the higher realms of the tree of life it's the structure there's something about healing here and yeah sacred journey so this is akashic records energy here um this is about self-knowledge and seeker of wisdom energy okay let me read from the book here tree of souls 42 okay so tree of souls collective wisdom kinship group library in the hidden world we have places and beings who are literally the storehouses of the wisdom of the ages the akashic libraries do not always appear as books of light although this is one of their forms so too are the whales and their song which also part of the great wisdom necessary for the universe to continue this tree is but one of those places and perhaps it is yours this tree when meditated upon when connected with is in a true sense can offer you the wisdom of your soul kinship group ancestral knowledge yes but there is a collective wisdom a soul group which you are part of and through connecting with this tree imagining it feeling it serving it honoring it you can help keep the balance of the universe alive this tree hosts the spark of your soul and all of its wisdom 
which is, as we have learned, vast and impossible to apprehend, to apprehend within one lifetime. Every moment of wisdom you have, every second in which you choose to express kindness and compassion, feeds the tree of light, this tree of souls, and in return this nourishes all other souls connected to the tree. For we are unique and individual souls, yes, yes we are one, and this is a place where we come together, a tribe of light, leaves on the tree, its roots shining and vast, and we are sheltered, nourished as keepers of the light. This is your soul tree. Know you are not alone and that every act of what you would call goodness benefits not only others in the human world, but the progression of their souls through its path in the universe. Every soul a star shimmering upon this tree of light. I belong to the universe and I am part of a great collective of souls who help and nurture each other throughout lifetimes. So I feel like if you if you think that maybe you're finding something alone or this only happens to you, that you are definitely part of a, a wider collective that is helping serve this energy. And actually that's part of why you're here. It's not the only reason, but it is part of it. And actually it's a very large job and it's a very important job because you're anchoring in light to benefit everyone. OK, so you're, you're almost recycling the light to go to wherever it needs to go. OK, and then we're going to do the star seed oracle. OK, let's see. Let's see, Starseed Oracle, please. What is the outcome for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? For the 1st of the 15th of August, what is the outcome for Capricorn, please? Earth. So again, the roots of a tree, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So you're in the world, but you're not entirely kind of rooted to the only, you know, environment you're in. Again, what I said at the beginning... You're, you're bridging this gap between the ethers and who you are, you know, the soul level, the soul lessons that you have to sort of bring, but also your physical life. There's a balance that is being restored here about learning lessons. And again, the teacher, isn't it? You're the teacher. So there's something about this that you're going through at the moment that is helping you understand the wider picture. And we're going to go with the sacred destiny last but not least for you guys so capricorn sun moon rising venus signs first the 15th of august 2020 what is the outcome capricorn outcome please message for capricorn first 15th okay so openness again full moon in aquarius so it's important to remain open at this time so even if you've got a lot going on or there's people energies things influences that may, may be making you shut down please maintain as open-hearted energy as you can because again could be part of the lesson could be something that they're trying to show you how to you know master possibly um maybe it feels like you want to sort of you know hermit yourself off and you don't want to connect with anyone but they're asking you to remain open if possible because i think it is going to benefit you and so guys this was your reading okay so hopefully that's been of some help capricorns thank you for your likes your shares your subscriptions it means a lot to me thank you so much um, we go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. British Standard Time, 6, no, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to join us there, it's a general collective reading. We'll be in for a chance of winning the Tarot Neferati deck and a 30-minute free reading. When we hit uh, 1,000 subscribers, you will be possibly picked to win this if you like and comment on a video that isn't alive and you are subscribed. So guys, you can sort of enter as many times as you wish to by liking and commenting on a video that isn't alive. And as I say, you could be picked at random to win. Okay, guys, have a wonderful first part of the month. Until next time, take good care of yourselves. Bye.